Welcome back to our channel. Today we are at the Crystal Cave and um, we're going to see a lot of gems in the Crystal Cave. And I'm in the heart of Pennsylvania. Dutch country. Dutch country. I got my ticket and we're about to go. Um, we're about to go walk up to the Crystal Cave entrance then um we're going to go up some stairs to meet the tour guide come on all right guys so we just parked the car and yeah. got our tickets and mm -hmm. we came up these hills um, to where the tour starts and we're about to go um, head to the top of the hill yes. and they're going to guide us on a tour so come on there is much history here as the caverns have developed in public continuously since 1871. crystal cave was accidentally discovered by two farmers blasting for limestone william merkel and john garrett noticed an opening in the side of the steep hill after removing some of the dirt, they ventured inside, but only for a few feet, as darkness and fear of the unknown kept them from going any further. Deep underground, you will find a different world down there, fascinating and mysterious. And so it was more than 140 years ago, when men first began to explore the darkened depth of Crystal Cave. We just watched a movie about Crystal Cave. We're waiting for the tour guide. We're about to go in. Are you excited? All right, and if you like this video, make sure that you like and subscribe. And comment below and let us know if you've ever been in a cave before. We've never been in a cave. Never. Never been in a cave. First time. All right, here we go. All right, we're going into the cave. Here we go. Oh my gosh, it's so cold. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's crazy. What is this giant spiky thing? A stalag? Mike. 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 What about this smaller spiky thing? A stalag? Tight. If you didn't get that, easy way to remember it. Never forget. Tights are at the top. They hold tight to the ceiling. Mites might crawl up your tights because they're at the bottom. Does anyone remember the stalag tights and the stalag mites? Believe it or not, these are growing. This one is growing up to that one. So let's watch them. Let's watch them grow. Let's see what happens, okay? <laughs> Nothing's happening? Uh -uh. All right. It is growing, but it grows about the size of a Hershey Kiss every 500 years. <laughs> so every time the water drips, the water has minerals, then it grows a little bit. Every once in a while, a drip will fall, even from this one here. You see those ones dripping? Sometimes this one will drip. So it's known as a drip stone. <laughs> Estimated to be 84,000 years old. We have a name for it, but what if you had to name it? Any guesses? What would you call it? Does it look like anything? Hershey Kiss. Hershey Kiss. Hershey Kiss. It almost looks like a tooth. Ice cream cone? Like a tooth? Yeah. Ice cream cone. Ice cream cone? Yeah, go for it. Good job, though. <laughs> have you been here before? You just knew that. No. Wow. 
Good guess. He, he got it. That's the one. We call it the upside down ice cream cone. Like you dropped your ice cream cone. Now it's melting. Very sad. Dropped ice cream. I think it's one that you just said a cone. Yeah. So melting vanilla. That's supposed to be vanilla. Doesn't look like vanilla. But look. That looks like vanilla, right? Yeah. Or behind you guys. That looks like vanilla. That is actually the mineral calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate is also in seashells. So this is the same mineral that makes seashells. Microplant life only happens because of the light. Originally the cave would have no light and no green or anything like that. Now we're looking at the ceiling. So the stream filled the whole passage and carved out those. And we also call her a cave monster. You gotta use some imagination. We've got a giant eyeball. He's staring at us. Another big eyeball. There's his nose, his mouth. He's got one tooth, but that's all he needs to grab somebody. Hey. You can see the cave monster? <laughs> this is called flowstone. And I say the flowstone looks like frosting on a cinnamon bun. Mmm, frosting. It looks like ice cream. <laughs> yeah. That looks like frosting. This does not look like frosting. And that's what people used to touch. We don't touch anymore, but in the old days, they let every tour touch. And the nice frosting turned looking like that. Even worse than touching, they used to break off stalactites. Mm. Take them home as souvenirs. These are going to take thousands of years to grow back. So we're not doing any stalactite souvenirs today, okay? And as we go to the next room. Ooh. Oh my gosh, it's so cold. So we, is it amazing, right? Yeah. Isn't it cool? Whoa. Those look like teeth. Yeah, they look like dinosaur teeth. Oh, wow. Smallest room on the tour. We got to squeeze in. <laughs> Hello people. Like and subscribe down below. But look guys, there's a giant crack across the ceiling here. This all the way through this room. So that crack is part of the Blue Ridge fault line, meaning it's the weakest structural point in the cave, most likely to collapse. You trying to scare us? <laughs> so the cave is super cool. It stays at 54 degrees. And we came down, I think he said 125 feet. Um, but yeah, for being 90 degrees outside, it's really nice to be in here. It's beautiful. Check it out. Zoe's filming also. In my time here, I've seen one bat. It was very small, nothing to be afraid of. This room used to be a ballroom where they actually danced. They would have wooden planks on the floor. They don't have those anymore. But it is still wet. And back then when they had tours, you'd pay 25 cents to get in. It's much more now. Whoa, cool. It's amazing. Yeah. I would do it. The The floors are wet. You gotta wash your watch your head here too. Ooh, a wishing well. It's just water, don't worry. It's actually good luck. If it hits your head, it's good luck. Yarn. There's another cave in Pennsylvania that has a boat tour. We're never going to have a boat tour. <laughs> Up there, a crooked stalactite. Normally, they hang straight down because of gravity. When they're crooked, they're called halectites. One explanation would be a draft in the cave, but this cave has no wind. 
So another explanation is capillary forces in the water. That's the cohesive forces between water molecules. You ever have a beverage, you stick a straw in it, you see a little bit of water go up the straw, that's the forces between the water molecules. Maybe that allowed this to grow crooked, but it's kind of a mystery, so we call it E.T.'s finger. <laughs> now I'm going to show you something. You guys, trade places, let me get over here. If you're underneath, try to come out. I'm going to show you what's up above your head. This is Sandcastle Rock. Sandcastle Rock is dry. It never gets stripped off. It wasn't moved, though. Altar Rock is moved. This was never moved. Instead, they think the last time an earthquake shifted the cave, the dripping got shifted. So this hasn't been dripped on so long, they actually dry out, erode from the inside, become hollow. We want to give you an idea of what the cave was like when it was first opened to the public in 1873. If you are scared of the dark, feel free to look over here towards where the crystal ballroom is. There will be a little bit of light coming from there that you can't turn off. If you want to look where it's darkest, look to my right. Chances are you won't be able to see a thing. Do request phones, flashlights, cameras, anything that lights up. Try to make sure it doesn't. Everyone good? Yes. In a spot where you're coming. Yeah. I'll turn them off in two steps. There's the first. And then three, two, one. Wow. <laughs> so this is just about total darkness. Minus a few lights. This is about as dark as it gets. If you look over here, you can't really see a thing. If you wave your hand in front of your face, you probably can't see it. If you close it, open your eyes, it doesn't look very different. Now, had there been no lights coming from the crystal ballroom and no lights coming from any of us, it would have been pitch darkness. As dark as it can get. You look up, there's a bunch of slag types dripping on them. So they just turned the lights out to show us what it would have been like years ago. And you would have only had like a little lantern. It was pitch dark. You couldn't yes. see anything. We, Zoe was scared. I wasn't. I wasn't scared. Yes, you were. I <laughs> yes, you are. No, I wasn't. Yes, you are. I wasn't scared in the pitch dark. Ooh. I always sleep in the pitch dark. No, you do not. Yes, I do. <laughs> What do you think, Zach? Could you have been a miner? Looking for the gems and everything in the caves? Yeah. You think you could? Yeah. Even when it got dark? Well, yeah. I would have light on my head. You'd have light on your head? Yeah. Oh, cool. Look at this one. Wow, so you saw that? I just had water drop in my hair. <laughs> so that means that you just got luck. That means you get good luck, hopefully. All right, now we're going up the steps to the very top. Let's see. Huh? Mm, you want to? It'll be fun. Yeah, yeah. You just have to be careful because the floor is very wet. The water just fell on me, too. This is cool. We're going all the way up. Oh, the All right, we're going higher. We're going higher. We made it to the top. That that's a ear of corn right there. Then that's new thing. They say it stays cool because of this. I'm like heart sweating. And he's a new thing. Where's Snoopy? Right there. See that one? Where? Right there. That triangle? Uh huh. That's Snoopy. His head's right there. Then his feet are up in the air. Ah, interesting.
All right, I finally just saw Snoopy. There he is. Cool. I see him now. You can see his tummy and his nose right there. I get it. I get it. I see it now. Look, this looks like vanilla frosting. Vanilla frosting? It does. Oh, I just got dripped on again. We must be getting super luck now. No. Oh, I was gonna say, don't jump over that. <laughs> Do not jump over that. Thank you. What was your name? Jonathan. Jonathan, you were a good tour guide. <laughs> oh, now it's hot again. We're coming out. Zoe's already out. No, now it's hot. No, no. Too hot, too hot, too hot. All right, Zoe, what'd you think of your first cave? Good. You liked it? Yes. See, they got miniature golf here. There's a little teepee there in the back. You need to go. No, there's 18. Yeah, 18. Yeah, but we're not going to play miniature golf today. Because we don't really feel like it. Nope. So it doesn't feel like it. But we are going to go on the nature trail. Yeah. And, and ice cream place. to the gift shop. Yeah. So and ice cream place. They let's have go a check this out. Polar ice cream place too. It's beautiful out here. What'd you say? Walk it like I talk it. <laughs> Walk it like I talk it. Walk it like I talk it. <laughs> Alright, we are heading to the trading post. And see what they got. What we can trade our money for, right? <laughs> what do they have? Crack open these. You can crack open and they have this inside. So, see this? Oh. That, that inside. Let me see. Wait. Ooh, it's so sparkly, right? Because yeah. they can crack it open like Those are cool. And look at this amethyst. That's my stone. That's my birthday stone. Look. Ooh. Wait, where's mine? Nice. I like it. I like it. Is this mine? No. That one? I forget. How do you pronounce it? It's like geode? I think that's, oh look, that's beautiful. Look at these. Those are amethyst points. Okay. <laughs> look, oh Zo, look at these. Ooh, we like sparkly things. Those. Sparkly guys. Sparkle. Ooh, I love them. They got t-shirts, dream catchers, all kinds of cool stuff. All kinds of stuff. What the? Bird whistles. Look at this. Look. Tomahawk. Wait, what? This is a tomahawk. Oh, tomahawk. See? What? See, in reality, this would be a real sharp, and then you would psh, throw it. <laughs> and here's the museum. Look at this stagecoach. That's awesome. I'm getting a geode. All right, pick the I'm one you're getting. Yes, Jerry. Yeah. I'm going to pick this one. Can you tell me what you want? Yes, that's actually a geode. And if you break it open, you're going to find natural crystals inside there. And when you get it home, you should put it in a cloth or a sock 
And then you get a screwdriver and you go, but then you're going to see the lovely crystals inside there. We just came out the gift shop and I got this. What is it? It's a pink gem and um, I was going to get a big one, but then um, it was too much money, so I got this medium one. It's not that medium, it's just a little smaller. That's it for this week's video, and remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and put on the bell notification, and remember, life is a, um, Life is an adventure. Life is an adventure. There. Life is a beauty. Praise it. Life is a game play. See you next time.